Only on News 4 tonight, two people have been charged by local prosecutors in connection with the aftermath of George Floyd's death in Minneapolis. Tonight, News 4 exclusively obtained the charging documents for one local man who investigators say was distributing information to create homemade explosives to kill or injure people. We need to be able to engage in conversation because again, it's very hard to ask people to be flexible over their core values. On his Facebook page, Marcus Marlvin Hunt posted prolifically about protests in the wake of George Floyd's death. But some of those posts the U.S. Attorney's Office say constituted a crime, distribution of information related to explosives. On May 27th, Hunt posted step-by-step -step instructions on how to create napalm using gasoline and styrofoam. In another post, he wrote that napalm is an enormously destructive weapon. It's very sticky and can adhere to the skin even after ignition, causing terrible burns. And saying using napalm on enemy troops in wartime is perfectly okay. In one live video, he briefly touched on the instructions. You know, I'm trying to give you all good information, improvised weapons armaments and things like that that you might need later on. The charging documents say members of a local joint terrorism task force were working to identify potential flashpoints for violence in the wake of Floyd's death and were monitoring local social media activity for evidence of imminent acts of violence, during which time they identified Hunt. He was arrested at a local Red Roof Inn Saturday and faces one felony count. Prosecutors say he is a threat to the community and a flight risk, in custody and no longer able to post on Facebook. Do what you can. We out here, we doing everything in love. And News 4 has learned that one other person has also been charged locally in the wake of George Floyd's death. Those charging documents are currently under seal, and of course, we'll continue to pursue more developments on that. I want to take you now to a live image of Sky 